What's going on guys, it's Leo Guild Wars and I'm glad you guys can make it to Weekly Leo News Episode 6. Now today, there's not a lot of news I can cover because not much happened over the past week. But we're going to cover the new customization features for characters, new way of getting charged lodestones, we'll talk about the unlimited logging axe, and finally cover the mesmer exploit. First things first, I'm going to talk about the new customization features for characters. Now keep in mind that you can only use this with the makeover kit because it gives you an extra features that um, Arena did implement in the game. So that being said, you can start making your characters look more different and unique by the new stashes that they implemented for the Norns. And there are three and one of them has just crazy effect. It has it looks like a French character or a French person with like giant hair just like swirling around. It's it's ridiculous. It's pretty funny. Uh, there are extra tattoos that they did put for both the Norn female and the Norn male. Also in conjunction with that, they also did add two new horns to the Chars. And I believe it's only for the females. But yeah, they're slowly implementing new customization features to make your characters unique. So that's the beauty of this whole thing. The second thing we're going to cover is the salvageable etherize metal scrap and this item is pretty unique. They released it with the etherblade retreat dungeon and apparently this drops from any of the etherblade foes so you can farm them from the ether caches or the hologram projectors and essentially what's so important about this item is once you salvage it, you get a chance of getting a charged lodestone. So that's a new way of farming charged lodestones. Although it's all based on RNG, so if you have bad luck, I'd stay away from this because you're probably wasting more money than you're actually making profit because this actually goes for, I believe, 20 silver, but I think it will slowly decrease or increase depending on all the consumers. Anyways, you have a chance of getting copper ore, iron ore, mithril ore, or calamore, charge fragment, charge core, and the main bad boy, the charge lodestone. The next thing we're going to cover is the unlimited logging axe, and this was supposed to be released with the whole Sky Pirate patch because it was on the update page for the official Guild Wars 2 website. So everyone was searching for it on the gem store, but they couldn't find it, so they started posting it on the forums, and finally they get a reply on Twitter saying the logging axe is not currently available, but it will be coming soon in the future. So it's either going to be released later on for the Sky Pirate patch or it'll be released during the next event. But we do have a little idea of how it's gonna look and it's in this image right here. It's at the very bottom right corner. It's It, it looks like um, a little steampunkish mix with the whole logging axe thing. And the last topic that we're gonna cover is the exploit on the Mesmer and currently there is an exploit where the Mesmer class can get unlimited buff for anything that NPCs have so they can have like a 24 hour uh, buff or boon for stability or etc. I'm not going to tell you how you get this because I don't want to advocate it. I'm just letting you guys know and it isn't patched right now and I can't really go into more detail because I myself don't want to get banned and if you guys do find out how to do it just use it at your own risk because I don't want you guys to get banned. So that's it for Leo Guild Wars and I'm going to release this on Friday. It's going to be early because I'm going to be going camping this weekend so I won't be able to post this video during the weekend so i hope you guys enjoy this early episode and leo guild wars over and out